Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com We have a new Windows 10 build video to look at This is 14965 for mobile and PC Mobile doesn't have any changes significant to show you PC one does so I'll start off with that So first thing there's a new touchpad uh, And I've enabled it down here You can So you can right click or long press And you'll see we've got that touchpad button And what the touchpad is It's just like a trackpad of a mouse um, like on a on a keyboard or a laptop or whatever. Why do you want this on a tablet? Well, if you're connected to a second screen, um, which and you've not you're just using the tablet, obviously you can't scroll over to the second screen. So you're projecting this up to a to a monitor or something like that. Well, with the trackpad enabled, you can you can control this across all the um, on, on the second screen, just as you would if you had an external trackpad or a mouse connected. So that's a nice little feature, and uh, a minor change, but it does make a big difference when you connect up to a second display from just a tablet. Another change is around the inking and the sticky notes. So what's changed in sticky notes is if you write something like uh, a day like that. You see, previously, that only, this only worked on the US version, now it works on other languages and it identifies that. So you can do things like, it'll do things like um, uh, flight detection and, and things like that, um, URLs, phone numbers, and dates like that, so even stock codes as well. So that's quite good to, to see that enabled for other languages. Yeah, another thing that's changed is this layout here on Windows Inking. You've got the customized pen set in there. You've got more uh, recent apps that you can use as well. They've changed it up to six, so I think that makes it a bit uh, better. Um, they've updated this protractor, a couple of other things. So let's have a look at the settings they've changed. So they've added the pen, and they've changed it to pen and ink, and they've added some of the handwriting stuff in there as well. So um, they've put all the settings together. Some of the things they've changed uh, is with reg edit. Let's fire that up. So you can now use Control L to set the focus. So now you can use Control L to set the, the focus up there. And there's a couple of minor changes. You can use shorthand key names, like you can just now use HKCR for HK current user, that, that kind of thing, or HKCU for current user. Other than that, Changes, they've fixed some issues with Internet Explorer, they've fixed some issues with Cortana in uh, French, uh, French or in France or French Canadian, they fixed an issue with File Explorer uh, crashing, and the, there's, there's a lot of fixes in there, uh, all minor stuff, and I'll include a link to the post on the Digital Lifestyle uh, with the, the changes. Over on the mobile side, um, I'm not actually going to do a separate video for mobile, I've got it here on my Lumia but there aren't any changes at all um, there are just fixes uh, so they fixed an issue with uh, Cortana again um, for French uh, French Canadian they fixed an issue with uh, English Indian prediction and they fixed an issue with data usage setage and uh, they fixed an issue with narrator and they fixed an issue with edge there are a couple of known issues for both the build PC and mobile sorry that's reflecting a bit on there isn't it um, the this is the you'll be able to install uh, additional date packs on there on, on the phone side of things and on the PC double clicking Excel document from File Explorer may crash Excel the best ways to open Excel and then open the document and some Microsoft games like Sudoku Minesweeper may freeze at the splash screen so that's it for the changes really there's not a huge amount uh, apart from those couple of things which have highlighted the nice little changes the uh, the Windows inking is with extra language support I think is, is good as well as is the uh, the little trackpad is uh, handy if you're connected to an external monitor. Phone side of things, well, no, nothing to show you there at all, really. It's a shame that there's nothing new on there. Maybe we'll get something new on uh, future builds. Anyway, thanks for watching this one, and uh, maybe next time we'll do a separate mobile one if there's something to talk about, but uh, there's certainly stuff on the PC side, so thanks for watching.